Okay, so this is the unit here. This is the ammo box battery. Inside we have some extra wires for an upgrade that I have in mind here. And we have a sealed lead acid AGM, just 12 volt battery, like you'd find in a computer battery backup supply. Um, on the other side, you'll kind of make out. I've got just bolts going through through the lid here. It's got a little rubber grommet to insulate it from the the metal casing. And then on this side, super gooped it up with liquid electro electrical tape, and then have this set an epoxy to keep it in place. <laughs> And then here we have the two banks of capacitors. Let's pop those out. And miscellaneous foam and stuff everywhere to uh, insulate from vibrations. There we go. Two-handed job. Okay, so, cheese. <laughs> so each of these capacitors is 500 farads, 2.7 volts. There are six in series in each bank. Uh, the original design only had the one bank of capacitors. It wasn't performing up to my standards, so I added a second one. And it all still fit neatly in the case here. So, now there's two banks running parallel. Uh, there's little leads coming off here that attach to the posts of the batteries. So this is technically a hybrid unit, so it's got an actual battery in conjunction with the supercapacitors to put a charge into them, and then they primarily actually start the vehicle when you hit the key. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a glimpse at the innards. Thanks for watching. More to come.